And welcome back everybody, Iron Upkeck here with another installment in my Amnesia the Dark Descent walkthrough. In the last video we cleared the cistern entrance, what we're in now, and the control room back there. Uh, we lowered the bridges to allow us access to the morgue and to the cistern. Now, because of how some of the things are scripted, we're going to go to the cistern first. Because it is much easier if you go to this area first. If you go to it second, then you may have to deal with the shadow. Now, you can still have that happen if you take too long in this area, but we're going to clear it quickly. Entering the area, we're going to go across that little stone bridge, and we're going to get a little flashback. You're conserving water from the spring. Yes, it enables me to control the water in the drain sewers to some extent. Also, it can be used for all sorts of purposes. Like the drinking? Eh, well, that too. But mostly to run different machines. Ah, like the water mill. Exactly. I don't know about you guys, but given the kind of person Alexander has shown himself to be, I don't know if I believe he's running water mills, but... Anyways, while that's going, Go ahead and get to that little jump area. Open up this chest, grab a couple of things. If you walk near this tank, it kinda sounds like there's a person murmuring inside, as that will imply. Now, it is never made clear whether or not there's actually a person in there. Um, as the tank fills more and more, the person murmurs more violently and more loudly. As you're walking through here, you will hear a Kernk slash Kraken splash around. Grab that note. Turn the first valve. Now, like I said, you will hear the Kernk, but he won't actually attack you, so don't worry about that. However, if you take too long, he will attack you. We're going to go ahead and clear the area quickly. As you're walking by here, grab one of these rocks. And line it up with that chain up there. And run across. There is a door back there that is clearly not accessible in its current state. Grab that note. Turn the second bell. By the way, this area is rather short, so this is going to be a pretty short video, just a couple minutes. You can jump down there, you will hear the Cairn again, but don't worry too much. Walk past this steam, make sure you don't get hit, because it does take away your health if you get hit. When you get past, though, you can turn this, and it will cut off the steam. So you can walk back the second time without any problems. You basically just run back, grab the third note, and turn the third valve. As far as I can tell, this area is pretty much meant to give a little bit more of the story in a relatively non-hostile environment. And we basically just redirected the water so we can now access the sewers. And again, you're going to hear the Karen, but he does not pursue you, so just don't waste too much time and you won't have anything to worry about. That was really all there was to this place. Um, I'm not 100% sure if there's some tinderbox hidden in some obscure corner, but, you know, we did the important stuff. Also, um, I suggest not wasting your lantern in there, as every time you turn one of the valves, it will blow out all torches nearby. But, anyways, I know that was a really short video but I'd like to keep it 
segmented into the different areas instead of combining tons of areas into one part, if I can avoid it. Unless an area is just, you know, like a transitional area, like the control room was, along with the cistern entrance. But anyways, in the next video, I will cover the morgue so we can get vaccinated so we don't have to worry about that poisonous fungi that grows in the sewers. Because if you try walking through it now, you will take pretty rapid damage and you will die pretty quickly. So we need to get vaccinated first. But like I said, that'll be in the next video. In the meantime, uh, be sure to like the video if you liked it. Comment, give me any ideas you have about the video, other games I should do walkthroughs of. You know the drill. Anyways, uh, thanks for watching and until next time, guys. Bye.